Hello and welcome, I'm the Coastering Kid. In my last video I did an analysis of these blueprints which show the photo locations for the new roller coaster opening up at Teens Island in 2020. These are 100% real and confirmed, and to get a better view of what you're looking at, uh, this is the lift hill and drop and station area. And I misinterpreted these documents to say that this is a ween coaster instead of a DJ coaster. But apparently I am wrong because the stair at the bottom left corner just, I think it's just dead wrong doesn't tell us anything, it's just inaccurate. And so I use that to say that the photos are just too close together to be a uh, DJ coaster. But there are other pages to this document that these are the sort of side views, top views of the photos that are shown in the first page. And if you look at section one here, the circled section one matches up with the section one right here in the map of the photos. And if you use the previous scale that says that size of this is only eight feet and that it doesn't match up because this other photo in this corner would just be so, so small. It would not support anything now that we know that the actual length of the photo is about 18 and a half feet and that is the I mean, that's the exact dimension shown in the document it's a bit blurry but i was able to figure it out and so we use that to get a new scale of instead of 40 feet 87 and a half feet so more than two times and so the actual gap between the photos is 120 feet which is more comparable to Fury 325 but still smaller and that is uh, somewhat of an indication of things to come here so now we can try to determine the exact height of the roller coaster which I believe I have found so we can see that the blueprints also match up with Fury and thanks to those who pointed this out because the projections of the supports on the blueprints are very similar to what Fury 325 looks like just the exact same support structure and that is something that is only seen on Leviathan and Fury 325 the only two B&M Dita coasters just matches up very well so to get an estimate of the exact height of the roller coaster we need to know where the lift hill starts and ends so this is so section one is the base of the spine fury 325 and leviathan have this spine running up the back of the lift tail and the drop and it separates at the bottom of the lift tail and goes into the ground and that is what section one is anchoring so that is about the start of the lift tail is coming right out of the ground so that is that is ground zero for determining what is the true height of the roller coaster. So if we use the side view Fury 325, we can extrapolate some things. And here is the end line of the left tail and the spine. And if we drop down the point at which the left tail starts to drop away from this end line, and then we draw a horizontal line that shows the distance between two supports. And the vertical line intersects the horizontal line at about this ratio. We can use that in the blueprints to get exactly where the left tail ends. So that is the exact length of the lift hill end line the spine has. And that is 338 feet using the new scale. The spine also tells us the exact end line of the lift hill, which is right there, 40 degrees. And if you know your trigonometry, that turns out to be 284 feet. That's not a DITA, is it? So there is this additional little height at the top, which is missed, but it's not much. But we can use the document again. This is real helpful that we get that the spine is about four feet and that we use that to determine that that extra little height at the top is about 12 feet. So then we did about 296 feet for the height and maybe they add a little light at the top or they build a ditch below it to get about 300 to 305 feet for the true height of the roller coaster. So this could be the shortest DITA coaster in existence and if it can be any taller it could go out it could start at a high elevation and then uh, reach its highest point over a lower elevation and then it would technically be higher elevation above grade but that isn't really possible because the land surrounding it is more or less flat there is this little little valley and it, where the roller coaster would start it is too far away from where the valley is and that is about 425 feet away from where the lift hill would start. So it wouldn't, I and mean, it's just too far away for it to climb out over and drop it down. Maybe the, it could drop over there and reach a higher speed, have a higher drop. It won't increase the drop enough to be a larger drop than Fury 325. So this is barely a Gita coaster. It is small. It will disappoint everyone that Kings Island is not breaking records here with the new DJ Toaster. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something here. I learned something going through this process. But uh, DJ Toaster, yes, but small. It's very small.